Hello, this is a middle school math instructional video for the following worksheet. Fraction Fundamentals Lesson 1, Converting Mixed to Improper Fractions. Let's begin. When we convert mixed to improper fractions, it's important to understand that the denominator will always stay the same. So step number one is just to write in the exact same denominator that you are working with. So really, all we're looking to do is figure out the numerator on the improper fraction. Here's how you do it. You take your denominator on your mixed number and you want to multiply it by the whole number. In this case, 3 times 4. After you get that answer, you just want to add the numerator. And once you get that answer, that is your numerator on the improper fraction. So let's take a look at this example here. We're going to do 3 times 4, that gives us 12, and then we add 2, and that makes 14. 4 and 2 thirds is equal to 14 thirds. Let's take a look at our next example. The denominator in the mixed fraction is 8, therefore the denominator in the improper fraction is also 8. To find our numerator, we're going to multiply 8 times 6, that's 48, and then we add 3 to get 51. All right, let's take a look at this example here. Same denominator. We're going to multiply 5 times 8, and that makes 40, and then we add 3 to get 43. Let's take a look at what your worksheet looks like so you understand where to show your answers and how to do your work. In this case, it's quite simple. There's a space right here just to put in your improper fraction. Remember, the denominator stays the same. And then we multiply 6 times 4 to get 24. Add 1 gives us 25. Same denominator. Multiply these two numbers. 7 times 6 is 42, plus 5 is 47. All right, step 1, write in the same denominator. 8 times 7 is 56, plus 5 is 61. All right, last example here, the same denominator. And then we're going to multiply 9 times 8, that's 72, plus 7 gives us 79. All right, so now it's your turn to complete the worksheet. If you need help, watch the video again, and when you're done, see your teacher for the answer key. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or concerns, you can contact us at springhouseeducation at outlook.com.